Hi, Arts Club audience. Um, I hope you're doing well. I'm here to talk about the Bill Miller Fund and my project because this past year I was one of the lucky recipients of one of the Bill Miller grants for professional development. So my project was that I wanted to learn about artistic direction from Daryl Cloran at the Citadel. So essentially what I did is I shadowed him for two weeks in October. And I mean, the project deeply changed my practice as a producer and the way I looked at the curation of seasons by all the big theaters across Canada. Um, and what was really interesting about my time at the Citadel is that I was there the first two weeks of October. So I was shadowing Daryl when he was really, really trying to um, build his season that he would announce the following December or January. And, and so it was a really impactful and special time to be there because I was privy to all the really private, unique conversations about how he had to build his season and the choices that Daryl and his team were making and why and everything. And so, I mean, I learned some really cold hard facts about like budgeting for these big theaters and for big musicals because a lot of the work I do I mostly do Indigenous theatre, so I hadn't seen budgets or the way that those big musicals are planned. I also learned about how co-pros work. And I also learned about how many puzzle pieces go into the curation of a big regional theatre season like the Citadel, and how timing is imperative, and the way that Daryl juggled um, every department in the Citadel's timelines, along with curation of shows and artists. Um, and so I will never be able to look at um, a season announcement the same way because now I feel like I fully understand how many factors go into the decisions our big regional artistic directors are making. Um, and it has impacted my practice because I feel like I just have a better understanding of how many factors are involved in the programming of a show. And as an artist, um, I used to be able to say, well, just program my show because you want to. And, and I feel like after that time with Daryl, I really understood how complex those decisions are, which was really, really helpful for my artistic practice as a writer too. Um, and that, so during that time, I built a relationship with Daryl because the two I just shadowed him around for two weeks and asked him all these questions. And this really unique thing has happened that now I'm an associate artist at the Citadel. So all the conversations I was privy to when I was shadowing him, I am now hired to be in those conversations. <laughs> so the project for me in particular had a really, really great impact on my life because I do think part of the reason why I've gotten that position at the Citadel that I'm really honored to have is because Daryl and I built a relationship over those two weeks and um, we got to know each other and we learned that we got along and that we had things to offer each other in what we were doing. And so it has resulted in me being at the Citadel. <laughs> so that was really great. And I'm really, really thankful for the opportunity to have done that project under the Bill Miller Fund. And it's had a very deep impact um, on my artistry as a, as, an, as a playwright, as a producer, as a director. I really learned a lot. And I also learned a lot about leadership from Daryl because Daryl is incredibly kind to all his team and his team all really likes him. And so it was really incredible to see someone who led with kindness in such a successful way. Thank you. The Bill Millard Artist Fund is a new program that's been running at the Arts Club for just over a year. In it, artists, administrators, artisans from across British Columbia can apply to the Arts Club for grants to put towards any professional development dreams that they may have. We are so grateful to be able to have this fund and only have it because over 1,100 individuals made donations towards it. Those donations were all matched by the Department of Canadian Heritage and now this fund lives permanently in our endowment. We're also so grateful to IA Financial and BMO who have supported all of the digital content at the Arts Club over these last four months.